Hello there and welcome to another Partners in Crime tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be learning how to make a cool square growing effect in Blender. Okay, so basically we're going to make this nice transition here and we're going to go step by step and how to create it. So before we start with this tutorial, you're going to want to download and install an add-on for Blender called Commotion. So we have the page up here and we'll include the download link for it in the description. And basically you want to go to the uh, commotion page and you want to download the add-on. And you see it's downloaded there and we'll see what folder it's downloaded to and it's in our downloads folder. So we'll open up Blender. And we'll go into the user preferences and you want to make sure you're in the add-on section and we're going to type commotion and you can see we don't have it there yet. So we have to click install from file and it's in our downloads. So you direct Blender to where it is on your computer. Select Commotion Master and click install from file. And then you just check that box there. Save user settings and you can go back into 3D view and see that we have the commotion tab here. So uh, now that we have Blender opened up, we can let's open that up here. We can start making our square transition. So let's type numpad one on our keyboard to go into front view, and type control and then alt and then numpad zero on our keyboard to bring the camera into front view. Now I'm going to turn on screencast keys so you can see what I'm doing at the bottom left of the screen here. So I'm going to type in and click start display so now you can see what keys I press on my keyboard okay so let's delete the default cube and uh, X and click delete on your keyboard and type shift a and once this dialog pops up select play RX 90 and type enter to confirm the rotation so now we have a square that's um that's facing us so that's looking pretty good Let's go into the materials section and add a new material and we'll make it emit by 2 and turn the specularity all the way down. And we're going to make this orange. Okay, so I'm going to shift D and duplicate that and just move that off there and left click. Right click on this square here, move it here, move it down. So just left clicking and holding on these arrows here, S to scale it down, and that looks about good for the size. Move it here, we're just going to move it right into the edge. Okay, now let's go into the modifier section to the right of the screen here, and click add modifier array. And uh, we can change the count to something that just goes to the edge. Okay, and we're going to scale this up just a little bit so that this plane here touches the edge, S, and left click. Now if we type Z, you can see we have our squares nicely arrayed here. So let's go back into solid view. And let's copy this array modifier, uncheck this relative here, and click constant, and we're going to pull the Y value up here. So the Y value and we'll put it to just off the screen here. Alright, 1.99 and we'll change the count to something that just goes right off the screen here. Alright, 6. So let's shift D this now. Move that off to the side. These are just extra elements in case we mess our main element up and want to just restart without having to completely restart. So let's get back to our main element. And uh, we can now Alt-C mesh and that'll just apply all those modifiers. And if you type um, shift Control alt c in origin to center of mass, you can see we get our the origin of our object completely in its center. And we're going to type Alt G so we get our squares completely centered on the screen. So that looks good so far. And if you type Tab, and 
you can see we're in edit mode and we want to separate all these squares from each other so we type P and separate by loose parts so now that the squares are separated press tab to exit text to exit edit mode there now that these squares are separated you can see we can edit them separately so before we start editing them we are going to control D to group them and we are going to type shift control alt C and origin to center of mass and now we have each of these squares origins in the center now if you change the pivot point to individual origins and type S you can see we get the squares sizing separately on each other so let's right click to cancel that so what we want to do is start animating Bef but before we start animating we want to change our frame rate to 60 frames per second so we get a more smooth animation so in the render settings to the right of the screen here you want to change the frame rate to 60 frames per second and jump to a later frame in the animation now on frame 85 we're going to type I scaling and we're going to jump back to frame 69 and S0 enter I scaling so from frame 69 to 85 those squares kind of size up on each other okay so let's split the screen here and let's go into the dope sheet and let's pull the animation out a little bit to make it take longer so right click on this up here pull that out and frame 92 let's add a scaling keyframe here and frame 79 let's add a scaling keyframe here I is scaling and Alt A to play that. I'm going to turn on AV Sync so that our animation plays through as it should. Okay, now we're going to pull this keyframe out a little bit further so it takes longer time to size up. Hold down Shift and right click on these three and just GX to pull them out. Alright, that's looking pretty good so far. And let's right click and shift and select these two in keyframes and pull them out even further. Pull that back in a little bit. And we can pull this out a little bit further. And that's looking pretty good. So, the main thing you want to do now is this is where commotion comes into play. Select F curves, and we're going to change the frame offset to 3. And we are going to offset the animation. So, we're going to offset it by cursor. So, let's put our cursor here and let's offset the animation and see how it looks. And you can see we have our orange squares coming up on the screen here. And it looks pretty good. And we can change the in frame of our animation. So that looks really nice. Now another thing we can do is we can add another square that does the similar thing. But we're going to give it some nice subtle accents. So let's see what we'll do here let's, let's right click on this square here and alt g it and that'll center it to the screen here and let's give it another material make it dark blue and gy just to make sure it's in front of all of our orange squares using the middle mouse button to pan around then pad 0 to go back into camera view and let's go into edit mode and type W and click subdivide and change the number of cuts to 5 and you can see we've now got a couple of squares here so what we'll do now is we'll type spacebar and type edge 
and you'll see edge split and once we click this it'll separate all of our geometry by their edges so basically we'll have a bunch of squares here so edge split and um, A and um, P and we'll separate by loose parts type tab and control G to group these and shift control all C and origins to their centers of mass and you can see we have a nice once we type S we can have some nice scaling of these separate squares so that looks pretty good so far so what we're gonna do is we're basically gonna copy some animation so hold down shift and uh, right click on this right here and let's click copy animation so basically now our squares have copied the animation from that so let's hold down shift and right click to deselect that and just select one of these random squares here and with our whole group selected of these squares let's use commotion again and let's click offset animation and you can see we've got that nice animation going on and to make sure that we are only um, really affecting the animations of what's selected we want to click this cursor selection here and that will only you know and show the animations from our selected objects so let's type a and then A, and then GX, and just move the animation back on the timeline here, and left click to confirm that. And let's see, we want the squares to be a little bit more sized. So Alt I to delete all these size and keyframes. Let's see, and S and uh, oop, we're gonna control Z so undo deleting those keyframes and let's see what we're gonna do we're gonna copy the animations to each other again before we offset and right click on the last keyframe here and just make sure we're on it and delete it and we're gonna make it size up big so it just becomes a square unto itself and S and left click and I and scaling and Alt A to play that animation and that looks much better alright so now we've got our scaling keyframes and we're gonna offset it and what we're gonna do now is gonna shift D to duplicate that group and uh, right click to cancel the movement and make another material by clicking this F and plusing it and we're gonna make it a bright yellow now you can choose whatever colors you like for these materials control L and link the materials to your group we're gonna move our group just behind here GY and left click and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna type A to deselect and then A to reselect our keyframes we're just going to move them so they happen just before our blue squares scale up. So now we have our yellow squares and our blue squares coming out. And now we have finished creating the animation. So if you found this tutorial helpful, we've got a blog with a lot more tutorials that we're going to be posting in the future. And you can also follow us for updates on our Twitter. So our Twitter is the Criminal Adam, and uh, check out our website at partnersincrimegfx.com. So we hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thanks for watching, and subscribe for more tutorials from partners and coordinated rendering of ideas, motion, and effects. Also, you can like and leave a comment below if you have any more tutorial suggestions. So thanks again, and have a good one.